And now, for this week's State of Trade in Star Citizen. CitizenCon is over and the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo is underway. With the Expo comes yet another Free Fly event. This Free Fly has new players starting in Area 18. Since Free Fly events attract griefers and trolls, we recommend not trading to Area 18 from now until December 5th. Traders are strongly cautioned against using Port Olisar for trade as well. Back to the Expo, players will be able to rent ships directly from the show floor. Every day at 2pm UTC, new ships will be put on display for 24-hour rentals. Players may try these ships for free and have the option of purchasing them on the RSI website. Traders in smaller ships are advised to pay close attention to November 27th for free access to the Freelancer Max and Starfarer. November 30th gives access to the Drake Caterpillar as well. December 2nd through December 5th will also feature the Best in Show winners, meaning that all players will have access to the Caterpillar during these days. There is now a new guide program. Players can now request other players to teach them specific avenues of play, covering everything from the basics to missions to trading and more. Veterans are encouraged to sign up for the guide program so they may pass their knowledge to new players. And now for market data. In the metals market, Agrisium on Lyria experienced a small slump as it sunk as low as 23.01. Still above a base price of 22.5, movement has been unpredictable the last few days. Deposits in Crusader hold on the high 24 range and are consistently empty. Titanium leveled out somewhat, with prices holding closer to its base of 7.10 in Hurston. However, the sell price dipped regularly at Port Olisar, dropping as low as 8.65 from a base of 8.90. Gold follows last week's trend as Daymar deposits stayed in the 5.70 range, above a base price of 5.40. Tungsten continues to see increasing traffic as its price rose as high as 3.69 in Crusader and saw a high of 3.61 in Hurston, slightly above a base price of 3.55. Aluminum sees no change and holds at a base price of 1.11. Legal vices continue to see spikes in movement. Distilled spirits were up at all locations, with the highest price hovering at 4.42, up from a base of 4.20. Stem saw a brief rise to 2.89, up from a base of 2.80. For the first time on State of Trade, Revenant Tree Pollen briefly rose to 1.37 on Selen, up from a base of 1.32. The illicit drug trade sees smugglers dumping Widow in favor of Slam. Traffickers would rather wait in line at Crew L5 than at Grim Hex and the distance means that less players are moving slam overall. The gas market sees Astatine calming down this week. Astatine around Hurston occasionally spiked to the 7.30 range, although the majority of the week saw the gas holding at a base of 7 UBC. Deposits in Crusaders still hold to the 7.80 range, and Dark Corp deposits follow just below. Fluorine holds firm at a base 2.95, with most locations keeping to maximum demand for the gas. Chlorine holds at a base of 1.3, Hydrogen follows at a base of 0.90, and Iodine finishes off the list at a base price of 0.35. Mineral markets do the usual majority share in Laranite. The commodity had only minor slumps during the week and stays in the mid-27 range. The release of 3.72 briefly saw prices in the low 25 range, which was quickly taken advantage of. Laranite has consistently stayed far above its base price of 24.10 which is usually only seen in the beginning of a major patch. Diamond saw a surprising movement this week as stock was actually emptied on Magda. The price for Diamond rose to 6.04 in Hurston, eventually settling back down to the base of 5.85. Quartz sees minor movement and rose as high as 1.32 on Daymar, up from a base of 1.25. Barrel also sees a slight uptick and rose to 4.09, up from 4.05. Scrap continues to be a favorited trade route for many, especially from Grim Hex and Crew L1. The price of scrap rose to 1.46 at both locations, up from a usual base price of 1.35. Medical supplies see renewed movement and soared to 16.40, high above a base price of 15.75. Processed food saw minor movement and briefly rose to 1.26 at Bountiful Harvest on Daymar, slightly above its base price of 1.20. Agricultural supplies see no change and hold at 1 UEC. And now for this week's IAE Expanded Forecast. The economy will face additional strain with a surge in new players and free ships to try out. 
Until the free fly is over, expect irregularities in commonly hauled commodities. Laronite will be more scarce than usual. Pay close attention on November 25th, as all players will have access to the Mantis. November 27th will give players access to the Freelancer Max and Starfarer, so small haulers can try out expanded cargo capacity on this day. Be warned, as the Freelancer Miss is up for free fly as well, and is capable of downing these ships with ease, so extreme caution is advised for heavily trafficked routes. November 29th sees the Aegis lineup. With ships such as the Harbinger, Eclipse, Retaliator, and Hammerhead available for free fly, we strongly recommend not trading on this day. November 30th gives us the Drake Caterpillar, so expect the economy to be extremely taxed on this day, as everyone gets a taste of the premier bulk hauler. December 2nd through December 5th gives us access to the winners of the Ship Showdown competition, meaning that players will have access to the Hammerhead, Reclaimer, Cutlass, and Caterpillar. Expect high prices during this time and increased pirate activity. With the Reclaimer and Hammerhead having excellent opportunity for pad ramming, we caution all traders to avoid Port Olisar entirely during this time. And now for this week's trading tip. It should go without saying, but do not trade with a crime stat, especially when you have a bounty on your head. Star Citizen is a fairly trigger-happy game, and players will take any reason to gun someone down. A crime stat gives them an excuse, and a bounty gives them your location. So before you start earning green, make sure that you're green. That's it for this week's State of Trade. Until next time, keep on trucking.